Hi, it's Grandma Annie. I'm going to tell you a story about Frederick. He's a little field mouse that lived in the meadow by a rock wall with his four other friends. And so the story is by Leo Leone. He's the author. He's the person who wrote the book. So there were five little field mice that lived in a meadow by a rock wall, and one was named Frederick. And it was starting to be winter, and it was very cold. And they decided that they better start collecting supplies for the winter so they'd have food. So one of those field mice, he went out, and he collected some berries. Yum, those look good for winter. And then the other little field mice, he went out, and he collected some corn. Yum, they're really going to like eating on that piece of corn, aren't they? And then this little field mice, he went out and he collected some almonds. Mmm, those look good. Some nuts for winter. Mice always like nuts. And then this little field mouse, he went out and he collected some cranberries. Yum, those look good. But then they saw Frederick just sitting on a rock and they said, Frederick, why aren't you working? And Frederick said, oh, I am working. I'm gathering sun rays for those dark, lonely, cold nights. And then another time when Frederick looked like he was almost asleep, they said, and now, Frederick, what are you doing now? Why aren't you working? And Frederick said, oh, I'm gathering colors for when it's dark and cold and dreary. I'm going to share the colors. Those are my supplies. And then another time when Frederick was laying on his back and doing nothing, they said, Frederick, and now, what are you doing now? And Frederick said, I'm gathering words for when we have nothing to do and our supplies are gone, we'll have lots of beautiful words to listen to. And so the other mice, they just kept gathering things and gathering nuts and doing their work together until winter came and then all of a sudden they started eating their supplies and at first they were very happy because they had lots of good supplies to eat but then the days started to get longer and colder and the supplies began to run out and they said Frederick what about your supplies they remembered about the sun and the and the colors and the words that Frederick talked about and Frederick said, close your eyes. So they all closed their eyes and he said, close your eyes and imagine the warm rays of the sun. It's so beautiful and it's warming you. And all of a sudden, all the mice closed their eyes and they could feel the warm rays of the sun. And then they said, but Frederick, what about the colors? And Frederick said, close your eyes again. And then he talked about the red in the poppies and the green in the leaves and the blue in the periwinkles and all the different colors. And all the mice could see the colors as they closed their eyes and imagine them. And then they said, and Frederick, what about the words? What about the words that you gathered? And so this is what Frederick said. He said, close your eyes and I'll tell you the words. Who scatters the snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and like I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. So that must be this one. And one is the summer who paints the flowers. And the fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. Here he is. And winter is last with cold little feet. I think his feet are cold. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. And they all clapped. Frederick, you're a poet. And Frederick, he blushed and he said, I know it. 
That's a good story, isn't it, about all those little mice? I hope you read this really good book. I really like this book. It's a nice story. It's I told you it was by Leo Leone. He's the author. So I hope you have fun. And we really thought these little mice were cute to play with. I'm going to let Freddie play with them, listen to them. Have a good day. And guess what? We're going to talk about colors this week. I hope you're going to do some activities with us. Bye.